I'm Mary Allison Brown from ReflectingRelationships.com, and we're here today to talk about infant and early childhood mental health. Let's get started. So if you're like most people, when you hear the term infant mental health, you don't really have a great idea of what exactly that means. So today we're going to talk about what in the world does infant mental health really mean? First of all, when we say the words infant mental health, we're actually referring to the period of time from conception all the way to age five. So this is more than what we typically think of as the period of infancy, which often is thought of as birth to 12 months. So infant mental health is conception all the way through age five. I like to add and early childhood in there to help clear it up a little bit. So you'll often hear me refer to it as infant and early childhood mental health. However, it actually means all the same thing. Conception all the way to age five. So now what does that mean? So infant mental health is actually synonymous with healthy social emotional development. So what is social emotional development? Let's break that down a little bit. Healthy social emotional development in infancy and early childhood, so remember, all the way from conception to age five, requires three main things to be happening. The first one is that the child has the ability to experience, express, and regulate his or her emotions. So this means that the child feels their feelings, knows how to respond to them, and can start learning some emotional regulation skills at an age and developmentally appropriate level. The second component of healthy social emotional development in infancy and early childhood is the ability to form close and secure relationships. The relationship with the primary caregiver is obviously the most important relationship for a child, but it's definitely not the only relationship that matters. So when a child is having healthy social emotional development, they have the ability to have that close secure bond with their primary caregiver, with other caregivers, with siblings, peers, and other adults in their life. And then the third component to healthy social emotional development is the child's ability to explore his or her environment and learn. When a child is securely attached to their parent, they feel safe going away from the parent to explore the environment, and that's how learning happens. When a child has an insecure or disorganized attachment, their primary focus is on keeping their parent in close proximity. This ensures their survival, However, in terms of exploring their environment and learning about their world, it inhibits their ability to do so because their focus is completely keeping their parent close because their attachment system is designed for survival purposes. So we'll talk more about that in a later video. But for now, those are the three main components that you need to remember of healthy social emotional development, aka healthy infant mental health, a baby's ex ability to experience, regulate, and express his or her emotions, ability to form close and secure relationships with the primary caregiver as well as others in their life, and the ability to explore his or her environment and learn about the world. So in order for a child to have healthy social emotional development during the first five years, there's four significant factors that must be well and healthy. The first of those is the child themselves. So this has to do with the child's temperament and individual characteristics. The second important factor is the parent. So you need a parent who is reasonably well, has solid mental health themselves, and is able to meet their child's needs and understand those needs. The third component is the environment. So is the home environment that the baby is living in conducive to healthy social emotional development? What does that look like? And then the fourth factor is in the parent-child relationship. So even sometimes when you have a healthy parent and a healthy child, you have a relationship that isn't healthy, and that has to do with the goodness of fit between the parent's temperament and the child's temperament, and how they interact with one another. So in order for healthy social emotional development to happen, all four of those components need to be healthy and well. So what happens when things go wrong? So when things go wrong in early childhood, it's a really big deal because the brain develops more rapidly during the first three years than at any other time in life. So everything that happens during those first three years of life creates physical pathways in the brain that become part of the structure of the brain. So when things are not going well in early childhood, 
Most infant mental health services are more focused on the qualities of the relationship between the parent and the child than either the parent or the child individually. Although mental health services can address any one of those four areas that we just talked about or any combination of those areas. So in therapeutic work though, the parent-child relationship is most often conceptualized as the client rather than either party individually. So the focus of the intervention is on the relationship itself. Having a positive nurturing relationship with a primary caregiver is the single most important factor in healthy infant development. So hopefully this video has shed a little bit of insight on what we mean when we're talking about infant mental health. And as you can see, what happens during those first few years of life is absolutely critical to laying a solid foundation for what's going to happen in the years to come. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this video, I would definitely love it if you would share it with a friend. And if you'd like to stay in the loop on what's happening with me and with Reflecting Relationships, please hop on over to my website at www.reflectingrelationships.com and sign up to get my email newsletter. When you do so, you'll also receive my free mini course on creating connection with your child. Hope to see you soon.